It is Canada Day and we're in the middle of a record setting heat wave. And that means there's only one thing to do. It's time to go for a road trip. And today we're talking about going over one of the highest paved roads in the entire country of Canada, the Highwood Pass. Come along with us. Roll the opening, Mabel. Because even in the midst of a heat wave, you got to have your coffee for the road. <laughs> okay. Here we go, family road trip. <laughs> now the hound dog. So I figured we would start our journey down Highway 1A, uh, mainly avoid the traffic on the Trans-Canada Highway, and also this is far more scenic. Uh, this stretch of road up until the early 1960s when the current Trans-Canada Highway was complete, this actually was the Trans-Canada Highway and formed the main route from Calgary to Banff. Destination, Kananaskis Country and the Highwood Pass. With this being our first stop inside Kananaskis country, it's a good opportunity to talk about the new Kananaskis Conservation Pass. Uh, this is a pass that was implemented by the Alberta Provincial Government that is a fee to access Kananaskis country. So basically, at $15 a day or $90 annually, uh, you register your license plate, one license plate for day pass or two license plates for a annual pass, and that gives you the ability to stop in the park. There's no physical pass involved. They just register your license plate and then scan it at parking lots with enforcement vehicles. So all the money from the pass is supposed to go into conserving Kananaskis country, which, especially since the start of the pandemic, has become a bit of a victim of its own success and has been under tremendous pressure. Whether or not you trust the government to spend the money as they say they will is a different story, and I'm not going to get into that. Needless to say, we're out here a fair amount, so we bought the $90 annual pass, registered the Dan O'Canmobile and the red truck, so we're good to go, and we're going to continue on and enjoy the scenery. And This breeze, while I'm sure it's ruining the audio, actually feels really nice. It's not as hot or it makes it seem less hot than it actually is. Welcome to the King Creek Day Use Area along Highway 40 here in Kananaskis. So there's this old bridge abutment here. I don't know if this used to cover a or carry a pedestrian pathway or if it's a remnant 
of an old alignment of the highway. Highway 40 has been realigned many, many times and improved over the years, so nothing would surprise me. <clears throat> highway 40 is filled with all of these little roadside picnic areas, day use areas. It's impossible to see all of them, but they're all really good and uh, wonderful places to stop along the road. All right, and this is the official start of the Highwood Pass. We could turn right and head into Peter Lougheed Provincial Park, but we are heading onwards and upwards to the top of the Highwood. So as I mentioned, the Highwood Pass is considered to be the highest paved road in the entire country. And it's closed annually from December the 1st through to June the 15th. So it's only been open for a couple of weeks so far this year. And in talking about all those former alignments, you can see there's one here behind me that we're not allowed to drive on anymore thanks to the no motorized vehicle sign which is really unfortunate because I think a lot of these old uh, sections of road would provide some interesting background on the area. Now in theory we could hike it but we have a couple of problems number one being the heat. It's way too hot to be hiking with a dog out here in these exposed areas and the other issue of course is this area is currently closed due to a bear in the area. So for the most part today, we're going to continue to enjoy this scenic drive from the air-conditioned comfort of the Dano Can Mobile. And since so much of this area is Provincial Park, there's no drone footage since it's illegal to fly a UAV in an Alberta Provincial Park. Just pulled over here on the side of the road to find a geocache as we work our way back down the Highwood Pass. You can already see behind me how the terrain is starting to change and is becoming uh, more grassy hills, less rocky, craggy peaks as we work our way back out of the mountains and back into the plains. Go RVing. Life's a trip. This looks like a perfect spot to stop for lunch. Mist Creek Day Use Area. And this is kind of in the shade, which is a bonus. And can we just take a moment to appreciate the vintage Coleman cooler actually made in Canada in that beautiful blue color? Like, that is amazing. And I probably have mentioned it before, but yes, we have the original box for it as well. I really feel like we lucked out here. There's only one other car in the parking lot. We got a picnic site in the shade and the creek is right there behind us. Well, behind me is Highwood House, and we are on the south end of the Highwood Pass. So that is it. We have done the Highwood Pass from the north end through here to the south, and now we just got to pick our way back home. But it's been a great day out on the roads. It's not nearly as crowded as we thought it was going to be. It's definitely as hot as we thought it was going to be, but all in all, great time to get out and explore Kananaskis country, the Highwood Pass, 
the highest paved road in the country. Happy Canada Day, everyone. Yes, go ahead. Video. Oh, I thought you were taking stills. <laughs> no, I'm doing a video. <laughs> okay. Here we go, family road trip. <laughs> ah, hang on. Tangled up, thank, thank you. Thank God for editing.